I'm Tickery Twisted. I'm Steven. And today we're going to do a little behind the scenes for the Monster Walk. And the reason why we're going to do that is because uh, I feel like there's a lot of confusion as to what it was supposed to be. It had a really small turnout and no one actually dressed like a monster. So um, I just wanted to like run that down and we're going to be talking about what we're going to be doing next year and how we're going to be doing it a little better. Um, it was great how we got some people to show up. It was a very small turnout. There's only like eight of us, including myself. And um, we did, in fact, walk down the Burlington Boulevard in Burlington, Washington, with the flag. And uh, even though, uh, you know, the point was to support unique individuals, and even though no one dressed like a monster, we did exactly that. And there's people that live, um, you know, alternative lives, and, you know, us rocker types, and all kinds of different unique people. Uh, that was what made the walk, and uh, that was accomplished at least. Um, but I was hoping, we were we were hoping that people would dress up as monsters, you know, make it a little more uh, exciting. And my way to get everybody there was to bribe them with donuts. But it did, everybody loves donuts. Apparently not as much <laughs> as I thought though, because we didn't have a lot of people, and we promoted it quite a bit out in advance. It was the June seventeenth, and. We did it a whole month before, so, uh, you know, and a lot of people are busy, and maybe people just know about it, but uh, the Monster Walk is supposed to walk down a long, lengthy, you know, part of a road where there's a lot of uh, people driving, and it's... A lot of general traffic. Yes, yeah, so people can see, you know, create uh, some... It's uh, not word I'm thinking of. Awareness. Awareness, yeah. Um, well, it's kind of on the flag. Uh, yeah, yeah, that big flag we had that Stephen was so kind enough to purchase. Yeah, I'm glad we got that, like, the day before, too. Yeah, yeah, we Ordered had the... it, and it's like, oh, it'll be here the 16th. God, I hope there's no delay. Yeah, yeah, it was really close, and it's because we, uh, we had to get the funds for it, you know. We're, of course, we're people who have to pay bills, so we had to wait a little longer, but it got bought just in time. And, uh... But yeah, we walked down. Um, I wanted to see more monsters, so next year we're planning on throwing a like. Uh, I talked to Michael Decker from Mama Land Management. He suggested that we do like a you know best costume gets. That's a good idea. Uh, you know, like a <clears throat> competition. So like you know, make people more aware to come like as a monster. Oh, whoever whoever wins would get like a. A fifty dollar gift card to somewhere, you know, something, <clears throat> or maybe Spirit Halloween. <laughs> Spirit you know, would be good. Yeah, that way you can get some stuff for your. Well, yeah, they get a get a gift card for Spirit in in June early enough that Spirit's gonna pop up soon, so that way they're actually able to use it. Yeah. As yeah. long as it doesn't expire. Yeah. So that was kind of the mistakes that we made was, <clears throat> you know, maybe donuts weren't as enticing, <laughs> but they were pretty good donuts and. Uh, we bought them from Lafine's here, which is a local shop, and we were trying to promote local shops as well in the process of it, <clears throat> just to create this, you know, unity. But, uh, yeah, so, and, and most things like this doesn't happen instantly, you know? Like, no. You gotta kind of, like, gradually build there to it and get people excited about it. So, the video was kind of made for that reason. So, like, a lot of people saw the, the music video we made and that got him excited. Right. Well, so, you also had a couple of guys, a couple of people approach you also. Yeah, we had a lot of people, as you can see on that video, and I, I made sure that was added so people saw us communicating with people, and, uh, you know, that was pretty cool. So, uh, <clears throat> another big thing we're going to try to do with it, and it's really reaching out there, but nothing's impossible, mm. is... Um, uh, I don't know if anyone knows this, but uh, Misha Collins from Supernatural, the guy who plays Cass, ass butt, mm -hmm. he lives in Bellingham. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to be trying really hard if we can get a lot of people involved. <clears throat> um, maybe he can stop by and do a meet and greet or hell, maybe even walk with us, you know, who knows. So. I mean, it doesn't have to do the walk, it just, like, shows up for the beginning of it. Yeah, just lets us go on our way, you know, and that's, 
the kind of excitement we're going to try to do. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all a matter of how many people get involved. So if you guys really liked that walk, you should prepare yourselves for our next next year and I think maybe keeping it at the same date you for consistency you good. Um, make it an, an, like an, an annual, annual thing. thing yeah so next year <clears throat> June 17th of 2016 we'll do hopefully an even 18th. bigger 18th? Ju you said 2016 did I say 16? yeah you said 2016 shit okay so June 17th 2018 uh, we're hoping to do it in Bellingham and we'll see if we can get Misha Collins to uh, do that. Woo! I am a machine, I never sleep, I keep my eyes wide <laughs> open. Monster walk! Monsters? Oh, we're on the wrong side. What's your name, man? What's your name? Michael. Michael. Well, you know, Riff Raff told me to tiptoe in my Jordan, so you know what I do. You know how we do. Just tiptoeing, just tiptoeing, just be tiptoeing in these Jordans. That's it, that's it. So, yeah. I'll him. But it was really fun. You know, the point was the we wanted to walk all the way to the bridge in Mount Vernon and back. But um, a couple people had to go back to their cars and, and work and stuff. <laughs> So we had to kind of stop in the middle and go halfway. And once those two or three people left, I only had like three people, again, including myself. So right. I just didn't want to do it without them because it was kind of small. Well, it was kind so of starting just... to rain that day, too. Actually, we made it back just in time, and then it started raining, yeah. Yeah, so if you had gotten down to the bridge, it probably would have started to rain. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, shit, what do we yeah. do? It was like perfect timing. So, And I didn't even have a plan for that. Another thing that made it really intense was uh, uh, the donuts were funded by Mama Lynn Management. I was going to pay for them, but uh, a lot happened around that time. But uh, the money coming to me was delayed because it was Western Union to me and my license was expired. <clears throat> so they wouldn't let me do it, so I had to get Heather, my fiance, to come and grab it. And that was like right last minute too, but we did it. Everything worked out just fine. So it was just really tense and, you know, so, but yeah, I mean, the Monster Walk is a cool concept. I think if everybody shows up, you know, if you think about how astonishing it'd be if people were driving down the road and there was a very large group of monsters. No, I think like next year, I think even if we hit 30, it doesn't have to be anything more than that. It would just yeah. be a fucking phenomenal turnout. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even 20 would be <clears throat> a good number, but 30 would be awesome. If we can get 30 people to do that next year, that'd be great. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bellingham has that big, long, long street that has all, all the businesses and everything on either side. So that would probably <clears throat> be the perfect place to do it, too. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to get involved um, for this next year, hit us up if you have any questions, if you have any cool ideas. Um, you know, and, and that's pretty much the Monster Walk. And we hope to see you guys next year for it. Uh, I'm Ticker Twisted. I'm Steven. And this is... Twisted Images after hours.